Hey everybody, welcome to the Falcon One-Shot. Before we get underway over here, I just have one simple question for you, and that is... Do you feel lucky, Bunk? Well, do ya? And luckily for you, we are playing Lux Slinger, which happens to be a game based around the whole premise of luck itself. As you can probably imagine by the title itself, it is going to be spaghetti western type of action platformer game, kind of along the lines of Metroidvania. It has a lot of open world elements that kind of lets you undertake whatever you want to do at certain times at your own intervals. There's also a weird hip hop infused type of feeling to the game itself. You could probably note by the music in the background, assuming it's kind of at the level you can still hear it properly. But every single the music, by the way, in this game is just amazing. Let me just start by saying that off really quickly. But every single track in the game has that obvious western type of feel, but with this little weird hip-hop type of, you know, DJ mixtable infusion to it. It's really, really, honestly, really awesome. I really enjoy that a lot. Anyway, let's actually get into the game and show you exactly what I'm over here talking about. We're going to continue forward because I have a little bit of a save of my own because I'm enjoying the game for my own benefit as well, but I wanted to show it off to you guys as well. So let's go over here to our second one, which is going to actually start us off in the first town after the tutorial, so you guys don't have to actually sit there and watch me go through the tutorial right there. You see? Luxlinger. <laughs> the game is really witty, and it's, um... Commentary, well not really commentary, but at least the story, the dialogues, really, really witty. It doesn't take itself serious, so keep that in mind over here. And as you can see, we have a dude over here that might or might not resemble our dog, Clint Eastwood, over here. So, this is our duck, by the way. That's going to be our cohort. He's going to help us out in battle. I would have preferred a falcon myself, honestly. But, you know, I will take Duck uh, Bridge over here. I believe that's his name, which happens to be also the name of the developer, at least the company that's developing the game, if I'm right here. Anyway, this over here is going to be our quarters. We're going to be doing most of our collecting and whatnot. Let's get out here really quickly and show you what's happened to this town. Right now, the whole premise of um, Luxlinger is that you're in this town called Clover Creek. And they, it has been completely pillaged by bandits. All of the clovers, the luck charms of the town, has been stolen away. And it's up to you to either take them back to reclaim the city back into its former luck self. Or, you know, do the bad thing over here too. And it gives you a chance to do this by actually doing good or bad in a way. Where you could actually bring back the banditos and lock them up in jail. Partner. Or you could actually kill them. One way or the other, you know, they just have to go down and you gotta bring those charms back for you. Alright, so stepping out of the saloon over here, we are basically introduced to Clover Creek itself, which as you can see has been... ...had a little bit of misfortune, because again, as I mentioned, all the good luck charms have been stolen, and it's up to you to actually find them. Right now, we have our first quest here. Uh, again, the game take doesn't take itself really serious, it's a really witty uh, take on the Spaghetti Western thing. As you can see over here, this is going to be our sheriff, who happens to be passed out drunk later on. You actually find him urinating against the shop over here, too, because he is a drunk sheriff who doesn't give a shit. Let's talk to him really quickly, though. Take the poster in my horse, Jill. Bring Sean back. Dead or alive. All fine by me. Alrighty, and this is going to be our first um, target over here, Sean. You get a good look at this guy? Yeah. I don't like the cut of his jig either. Um, Sean Bombay O'Connor, Irish male, 23, fought in the American Civil War for the side that paid him the most, robs banks for the thrill of it, crime, manslaughter, and theft. Rewards, 12.4 kilograms of gold okay I like that reward and over here we're gonna find the uh, sheriff's horse which happens to be Jill but I found the sheriff thing to be really um, amusing anyway like much like in most movies and also other pop culture references he happens to be the town drunk while his second in command is the one that's actually holding down the fort with by what best he can let's talk to him really quickly though and actually get an idea as to what's gonna be happening with Sean our first bandito over here Baxter if you bring Sean back I'll be sure to have his jail so nice and dirty Alrighty, Baxter. So we have the choice of either bringing Sean back arrested or, if we talk to this guy over here, if you bring Sean back, I'll be sure to have his grave ready. So you can either kill Sean or bring him back into the laws of justice itself is up to you. Over here we have a church, which is where you're going to be kind of dropping off all of your, um, your good luck charms that go along. Bank. There's a little bit of an event over there. You could actually open that up and get some gold. Gold's going to be kind of like a little bit of a way to um, collect, do some collectibles in the game itself. But for now, we just want to get into the very first mission over here and show you how the gameplay itself works. We're going to be coming over to Sad Hill. So we need to bring Jill over here so we can make this jump. Boom. Alrighty. So let's see. Let me get acquainted with the controls here again. Reload this way. We uh, throw our knife that way. Uh, duck, can you go get my knife? Thank you. The duck will actually help you out in combat a lot, as in picking up your... Um, Knives that you throw, and also sometimes even distracting enemies and whatnot. So the whole premise of this game is going to be luck. Luck is over here noted by the top left corner. You see a little revolver type of thing at the left. You actually pick up luck by killing individuals and other sort of random events. And a lot of these things can trigger automatically the luck thing, and sometimes you can also control when you want luck to trigger, which I will probably show off here as we go along. But um, let's see here. Oh, that right there is because of bad luck. We have no luck at all. 
And if it wasn't for bad luck, I guess we wouldn't have no luck at all, right? So we could roll around over here. Shoot over here. As a matter of fact. Hey, hey. Sonic the Hedgehog, you stop it right now. Let me reload here really quickly. All right, he's dead. So we got a little bit of luck by killing Sonic over here, which is actually pretty ideal. All right, let's move over here forward. We have Sonic coming at me again. We have a Bandito over there where I'm actually out of bullets. Let me jump over here, reload as best we can. Take this bad boy on out of here. Get on out of here, partner. You ain't want none of this. Now, our bullets as well can be infused with luck. Because you see that glowing bullet right there? That will actually make it so that that shot will find its target, regardless of which that last one that we just shot right there. You'll see it by the uh, golden hue of it. And by the way, your luck will also sometimes trigger that bullets actually shot at you. Let me see if I can trigger one of these really quickly. Duck over there is actually distracting that um, bandito, as you saw right now. But your luck can trigger sometimes automatically to have one of these bullets actually evade you completely, like your Neo from Matrix or something. Couldn't really do it right there, but as we build up more luck, we might be able to see that action. Or we might see that actually in action over here. That snake committing suicide gives a little bit of luck. Let me actually pop this open. Boom. You don't open up chests regularly. You shoot them open, right? This is a western after all. Let me reload here completely. Oh! No! <laughs> oh, good god. Oh, Falcon. Great start. Alright, so let's just quickly pretend that just never happened, right? That was just a little bit of a... Just showing you off what happens if you fall down these cliffs because, you know, you wanted to know what happened, right? And obviously you die if you fall down cliffs. You don't want that happening. Alrighty, let's continue going forward over here. We have this Bandito. He's dead. Good. Pick up some more luck. Get a little bit more health over here because I am actually a little bit low on health over here. Alrighty. As you saw right now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the screen actually in the corners went a little bit orange or gold, whatever you want to go with here. Yellow. There you go. That right there is whenever your luck triggers on itself by command automatically. Um, that means good luck. Whenever you see a red tint around the screen, it'll be bad luck, and that's also triggered as you go along, and it depends on, you know, your luck meter over here to the side. You could actually trigger luck on command, too, which I will try to show off with this little, um, hill over here. Not hill, but this little chasm here. But really quick, let's get rid of these guys over here. Boom, that's out of the way. Actually, there's actually a really good place coming up that I could show you how the luck thing actually works on command. So, you know, which over here, you can actually do some gambling as well with this, um... Native American here. Uh, how much money do we have? 21? Sure, let's gamble. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we got three green cards and we got a heart. Perfect. What happens if I gamble again? Ah, oh, we got an item. Deployable chain gun. I've never had this one before. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> these items, by the way, are sometimes uh, multi-use and sometimes only one-time use. This thing is more of a one-time use item, but we'll keep it in mind. This over here is how you're going to be using a save. And let's make this jump over here, Falcon, without killing yourself. And that triggered bad luck, as you saw by the red tint around here. Alrighty, Sonic the Hedgehog did not want to go. There he is, he's dead now. Perfect, alrighty. Oh, oh, I see you, Solid Snake. Can I throw a knife at you? I definitely can. Alrighty, so our luck meter is building up here pretty ideally because I want to show off how to use it properly and on command. You are still alive here, let me reload. Now you're dead. Alrighty. Alright, here's a perfect example for you coming up right now with this um, ball and chain individual over here. Let's make this jump here first and foremost. Let's pop this bad boy open. Alrighty. A lot of luck over here building up. Make this jump again. And let's see here. We are fine. Sometimes when you don't have enough luck, this right here will actually reveal an enemy. And that's again triggered by the luck effect. And we have a vinyl record right there, which is actually really useful because it actually gives you unlocks and more music. And again, you want to get as much music in this game because the music is amazing. We gotta make this jump though. So I think we'll be able to make it just fine. Here is gonna be another luck triggered event. And we got bad luck right there, meaning. We're going to have this sheriff come out over here and chase me down with a shovel because uh, I guess he didn't like the way I was looking at his wife over here, which is actually pretty bad. Not really a sheriff. I'm not sure who that guy was, honestly. But uh, he didn't like the way I was looking at his wife or his woman, I guess you could probably say in the West here. But um, yeah, didn't really like it came out. There's a good luck event over here as well with that one. which actually will give you a good item. But yeah, it's all basically RNG based. Now, if you want to trigger luck on command, here is where I sometimes screw this up. But let's give this a try. Perfect. So what happened right there was I triggered luck by command, and um, you may use up some of your luck that's stored up, but you will actually have good things happen, and what happened here was actually these little weird... I'm not sure what those things even are, but they showed up, and I could jump and use them to get across the gap over here, which is going to be pretty good for this guy over here because... How you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not down. You're not down and out. We killed him, though. We got a gold bar. Try to get as many as you can. These are just going to be collectibles. Duck Bridge, you're in control of that one. Let me see if I can do some fancy soccer or football um, footwork over here with this guy. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty, let's make this jump over here. Boom and boom. So again, if you're falling down the chasm, be sure to activate your luck and you might actually pull through and not kill yourself like I did the first time around. Alrighty, we have some more Sonic the Hedgehogs to deal with here. I need to reload. Falcon, come on. Throw the knife at him meanwhile. There you go. Hey, 
Pick up the knife. Alright, good. So, that's not gonna follow me? Great. We have a little bit of a... Ooh! That trap just triggered right there. Thankfully, we had some luck stored up, so it was a good event. And we didn't fall in there, and um, that's not gonna kill you, but it actually will cause some damage. Alright, oh, good god! One bullet for two of you guys, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm good. Alright, let's see if we can make this jump over here. Across, across, and boom. Another save point, which is ideal. Now, we have no bullets stored up. I'm not happy about that. Hey, 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 relax. Eagle, I have no beef with you. I have no beef with you whatsoever. There was a guy over here hiding. We missed out the chance on that guy because that eagle decided to attack me over there for some reason at all. Oh, you don't like Falcons? Is that what you're telling me, huh? Ah, oh, you're dead now. How do you feel about that one? Not too good, I would say. Alrighty. We have a little bit of a short enemy boss fight. You saw that right there, that bullet that just flew off? That was in due to the luck right there. On occasion, again, bullets will just completely avoid you based on your luck, so we gotta keep that in mind. Alrighty, that guy's dead. Excellent, we only have one more of these bad boys to deal with. I could hold down my knife and sling that as far as I can over there by just holding down the button, and this is now done with. Perfect. Alrighty. Obviously, we're in the very first level of the game, so don't expect too much difficulty. Um, it's more just kind of learning the controls as you go along here. The latter stages can be a bit more difficult, but again, you know, it's up to you, your your whole gaming premise over here. We can do some more gambling, but I think I'm alright. I'm gonna hold on this chain gun for possibly the boss fight, I would probably say. Shoot this open. Oh, good god! <laughs> oh, no good! Oh, good god! No good. Stop it, luck. Alrighty. Got that eagle out of the way there, but there's another dude over here shooting me from afar. Get him out of the way. Oh, nice. We got some really good luck infused bullets in that one, so most of them we actually had the tracking ability on them. Make this jump. Make this jump. And over here, you can actually play Russian Relay with this guy. Um, the one time I tried it, I actually won. I don't necessarily want to try this because if I die, I'm not sure if you if you lose, you die like an entire life or you just take some damage. I don't know. I would imagine you would probably die. I don't want to start this over again. But um, you can play Russian Relay over there as well because, you know, that's what, you, that's what you did in the West when you wanted some fun, I guess, you know? Don't, don't question pop culture. It just works out that way. That eagle's gonna live. I'm not too happy about it. I actually wanted you, yeah, yeah, I wanted you to kind of die. How far are we from the boss fight? Should be relatively close. This should be it, right? Oh, yeah, this should be it. Alrighty. We don't have a full health, though, so I'm not too happy about this. We're gonna fight over here in some sort of, like, graveyard of some kind. Great. Perfect way to fight. I feel like I'm... Wolfwood from Trigun or something over here. Alrighty, let's check this out. That's him, alright. I recognize that face anywhere. I heard you've been looking for me. Luxlinger, is it? I decided to meet you and make your life a bit easier. And shorter. I have great plans for this luck charm when I'm done with you. Ever heard of Fort Fargoat? It will be my final challenge. You see, Luxlinger, I used to believe in many things. All of it. Now I believe only in two. Luck and dynamite. Oh yeah. Alrighty, so let's give this one more crack over here. So now we're gonna have at least a full health bar coming in. So I feel more better about this. The only problem is I have no luck. So we're not gonna get any sort of actual bonuses from hopefully maybe getting a lucky dodge of a bounce over here. Because we have none? Okay. And the dynamite also hurts you in midair. It doesn't have to actually blow up to actually cause damage. Just touching it in midair can also hurt you. Not exactly a fan of that, but you know, so be it. Let's just reload over here. What if I toss a knife at this carriage? No damage? Well, <laughs> I expected as much, but I need to give it a try, right? Oh, good god. Scary. Get my knife back over here, duck bridge. Alrighty, and more importantly, we're also not going to have any sort of tracking bullets because we have no luck. And as you can see right there, he's triggering his effect already. Must be nice, dog. I have no luck. Why don't you take that charm off? Find me like a real man, huh? Man with no luck. Let's see if I can just toss a dagger in his face right now. Oh, I definitely can. Are we not reloaded here? There we go. Now we are! Now we are! Skip those, Falcon. Oh, come on. Stop dodging that shit, you jerk. Oh! Okay. That was a scary dynamite. That's gonna be splitting up! Okay, we've dodged that one completely. We're not gonna dodge him forever, though. That's gonna be splitting up. Alrighty, let's just hang out over here. The problem is, at this point, we have to get close enough to actually land these shots, and hopefully some that he doesn't trigger with his luck charm over here. Let's toss another knife if we can. We haven't used my chain gun yet, have we? Might as well use it now. Oh, that was a bad time. Chain gun right there. Alrighty, there you go. Yeah. It worked a little bit. Can't complain. Get a few more shots off over here. Let's do some reloading. Jump over here if we can. He's not long for this world. I still luckily... Oh, I've taken one damage? I didn't even see that happen. Alrighty. Okay, he's, he should be going down. Let's just toss our knife over at him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Alrighty, we got some... I got an achievement over here. Not sure if you can see that. But we got our good luck charm over here. A four-leaf clover. That would be kind of relatively lucky. Now we have a choice over here. Bring Sean back or kill Sean. I'm pretty sure this will probably have some sort of moral and long-term effect on the story itself, but, you know, that's going to be for you to find out because I'm not making any choice for this video itself. The game comes out on July 16 on Steam, so definitely check it out then if you liked what you saw. And the description below should have a link to the store page itself. Hopefully you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.